Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we're doing a room tour of the Home Two Suites by Hilton Baton Rouge on Segan Holiday Circle. We begin in the lobby. This is a shot of the breakfast area. And when they were open they had cereal and juice and waffles and they have coffee 24 hours a day. And this is the business center. It's just a couple of computers on a table. And throughout the lobby they have seating areas and there's even a TV with a couple of easy chairs in front of it where you can sit and watch TV in the lobby. And now we're going to head up the hall to our room. We had room 232. So this is the King Studio Suite here at the Home 2. And first thing we see when we walk in the door, we have our standard deadbolt lock, safety latch, door viewer, otherwise known as a peephole, the evacuation plan, and Louisiana Civil Code, all the hotel laws. Then immediately to the right when you come in the door, we have a full-size refrigerator. It's not exactly full-size, but it's a pretty decent-sized refrigerator. And underneath the refrigerator is a freezer. And this is like the little kitchen area, and I believe they'll even give you a glass top surface um, hot plate type thing if you request it at the desk because there's no stove in here. But we have six plates, six little bowls, roll of paper towels, ice bucket, coffee maker with coffee, regular and decaf, little packets of salt and pepper, and a shaker. I'm not sure why they do that. That's kind of silly. We got six glasses and six mugs. And we have a microwave sink with a disposal. That's something I've never seen in any hotel before. I mean, this is an extended stay hotel, but I've never seen one with a disposal, you know, in Sinkerator, Waste King 1001. And then a dishwasher, a full-size GE dishwasher. And in these drawers right here, we have an assortment of silverware. And this is, um, Dish towel, big spoon, rubber spatula, another big oh, strainer spoon, another spatula, oven mitts, even though there's no oven, and a big knife. So we have a pretty good assortment of uh, kitchen util utensils here. Then one drawer down, we have this corningware microwave cooking container and here we have a toaster a real toaster and a colander and a cutting board underneath this is a very well equipped kitchen then immediately to the left when you come in the door is the bathroom you have a toilet that has the half flush mode save water yeah, we have rolls of toilet paper, towels, lots of towels, washcloths, more towels up top for hand drying. And we have one bar of Neutrogena bath soap and one bar of conditioner. Give us a couple of drawers here. This one has a hair dryer in it, a box of Kleenex, I have a mirror, it's not a backlit mirror, it's not anything really fancy, but it's a mirror nonetheless, and a sink, hot and cold running water. Then we have a stand-up shower, no bathtub. Inside the shower, we have invigorating shower gel 
and Neutrogena Clean Shampoo. Nice looking shower head. These doors here slide. Let's see how the shower works. It looks like a pretty good flow in the shower. Door just falls shut. So moving on into the bedroom area, we have a thermostat that controls the air condition. It can be set to hot or cold, and then just whatever temperature you want. It's got two different fan speeds, and it connects to a windy unit AC at the other end of the room. And we have this nice little couch, footrest, some tables. These lamps have power outlets. And this table actually pulls out to create another table, so it's a very efficient use of space. And this couch right here is a pullout, so you can sleep two people on it. And we have a desk area over here. This is the one lamp in the room I forgot to turn on. And this lamp has a power outlet and a USB. Move over here to the television. It's a pretty good sized TV. There's a chest of drawers here underneath the television. And this cabinet. I guess that's where you put the VCR. It's not quite as convenient as the entertainment centers we've seen in our last uh, hotel review. And this right here is a little table which can be pulled out and you can put it in front of the couch. It's good for eating dinner on, which we've already done. Another little storage area here cabinet and I guess that's the bedding for the uh, pull-out couch and there's this little curtained off closet here which has the luggage rack ironing board and iron and hangers these are proprietary hangers you can't take them home and put them on your regular rod and this can be closed off so you can hide whatever's in there I guess if you have guests Every lamp has a power outlet on it. And we have this nice king size bed. And then there's a curtain here so you can completely hide the sleeping area. I guess if you have guests or whatever, if you have people sleeping on the pull out couch and you want some privacy between the two sleeping areas. That works out well. And they have a painting, or what looks like a painting. I don't think it's a real painting, but it's the Wilkinson Bridge over the Mississippi River in Baton Rouge. And then here over the window, I just wanted to point this out. Oops. A couple of levels of shade. You got that to black out, and then you got this for privacy. the view outside at night of course and so we'll turn on the lights to see the exterior view during the day not a whole lot to see that Segan Lane out there it's a very commercial area right here and everything here is pretty new even this hotel has only been open for a couple of months so this concludes our room tour of the Home 2 Suites by Hilton Baton Rouge. Uh, overall, it was a good experience. It's highly recommended. The bed was comfortable. The shower worked well. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment below, and join us for our next 504 road trip.